G'day. Hot day here in the patch, 37 degrees. But an important job's got to get done because my mate Barney here, the banana that my wife Melanie bought me, desperately needs to get out of the pot and into the ground. And we've actually got a nice little bed ready for him. Bit of work first, but just the spot I reckon. Yeah, our mate Barney's getting a bit tired here. Um, definitely ready to go. Now, this is the bed that he's going into. This is a veggie bed. Um, it's 1.5 by 1.5 metres wide, and it served us really well, but it gets a bit neglected. Um, it's sort of out here on the far corner. It sort of sits at the beginning of the fruit trees in the, in the garden, um, and on the boundary of, of the actual veggie patch proper. So, as you can see, that sort of bit of neglect has led to a few things happening, like all these seedling Sicilian nectarines or subergias are actually in here. And I don't want to lose those, so they've got to come out. Also, one of the things that I don't want to risk is uh, we grew this organic celery from a stump. You know, nothing marvellous about that. But the bottom line is I don't want to lose it and I want to keep the seed because it's actually cross-pollinated with self-seeded celery from the garden, which we rely on most years. So that's going really, really well. Um, you might remember a video I did earlier about my friend Don giving us some really tired, poor old green zebras, beautiful gift from him. Now, these two have gotten through and I don't want to lose those. So they're staying where they are. The goal here is going to be to not disturb the bed soil too much, just sort of um, supplement it with a lot of um, natural manures and, you know, get it going. So the time's come to get these guys out. Now, I've got a little bit of just cheap potting mix to increase the amount of um, soil base I've got here, depending on how much soil is going to come out with the seedlings. So we'll just get one out. Yeah, they definitely need more. And there we have a Sicilian nectarine, ready to go. They'll perk up in no time. So now I'll just get on with it and get all these guys out. So have a look at that, we've got 11 new trees. These will be fruiting in about three years. I can give them away, I can plant some more down the back orchard, do whatever I want. Absolutely beautiful and free from this guy here. Now while I was digging around, there's absolute treasure has turned up in amongst all these Sicilian nectarines. Um, and I'll just show you what it is. Have a look here. Have a look at that. Another pomegranate seedling. Definitely going to get this potted up. I'm assuming it's an Elche variety from the pomegranate we have in the property, but it could be from one of the other pomegranate varieties from the houses around us and properties. So who knows, but what a bonus. Okay, gently does it. All right, seem to have captured all of the root ball, so I'm happy about that. Try and get it in with as least amount of disturbance as we can. You've probably noticed I'm being a lot more gentle with this pomegranate seedling than what I have been with these um, Sicilian nectarines because sad reality is these beautiful things can take anything. They're as tough as anything. Whereas I've noticed in the past when I've transplanted pomegranate seedlings, they have struggled sometimes. And I really don't want to lose this one. Look at that, isn't that great? So the guys are in the nursery area. Um, they're under the protection of a fig tree here, just to give them a bit of um, time to acclimatize. As I said, it's going to be a hot day. So they'll need a bit of extra attention. But I'm thrilled with that. 15 minutes work. All right, that job's done. Time to get back to Barney. So we dug a hole um, right there for the pot. 
sorry about the wind. I'm going to put a few chicken manure pellets in there, tease that into the soil. And I've used the magic ingredient at the bottom, which is a bit of spoiled bedding straw from Angora goat pens. Okay, that big handful of pellets in there. And now for the big moment. Oh yeah, mate. You see here, look at those roots there. Wow. They're ready to come out, mate. Okay, just get a lot of this nice, cool soil back down. Now I'm wanting to build a mound around Barney just to make sure I know he wants to be wet but I just want to make sure that he's got a lot of clearance around him. More storm when you are. And we'll break this up. This is just going to go mad feeding him. I'm going to leave that to rot and now mulch. So he's in now for really deep watering. Wait and see. Good on you, Barney. Well, thanks for watching Barney's first day at school. Um, it's been a great day for me. Like I said, Sicilian nectarine seedlings to burn. Even an elk chase seedling, hopefully. That'll hopefully go well. But the star of the show is here, Barney. Come on, Barney. I need you to work. <laughs> Thanks. Um, if you like the video, subscribe if you want to, or like it. That'll do. The algorithm, you know, all that stuff. Anyway, see you later. Bye.